Hello and welcome to another quick video where we'll take a look at the pre-order liveries that have just been added to F1 23, if you've pre-ordered the Champions Edition of F1 24, which releases very soon on the 31st of May. These liveries are available to use in F1 23's time trial mode, and this is the second batch that have dropped, including Mercedes, Red Bull, Aston Martin, Visa Cash App RB and Kick Sauber. So we'll take a quick look at all five of the new liveries and then we'll, just like the last video I did, take a look at how they look on track. So first off, we are starting with Red Bulls and there's not really a lot to say about this because it is almost exactly the same as it was last year. Not really anything changed there, but still pretty classic design, still got the banana nose. Next up we have Mercedes who for once couldn't decide whether they wanted a black car or a silver car and instead went with both but actually it's turned out looking really good in my opinion. I like the gradient, I like the way it's very sleek, the green nose actually works very well and I'm very glad of course they still have the lovely red star for Nicky Lauda. Okay, third in the list for this drop is the Aston Martin which again much like Red Bull does look very similar to last year. However, it is one of my favourites if I'm being honest. The racing green, very sleek, very shiny, love the metallic look. A little bit more black in there, but of course every car on the grid this year has black in there because it saves a little bit of weight. Next up we have Visa Cash App Racing Bulls and aside from the name, I actually really like this livery. The blue is very bold, stands out a lot on track and they're, well to be honest with you, I'd kind of prefer it if they just stuck with their Miami look for the rest of the season because I thought that one was fantastic. But their normal livery does look very good, it's got a nice mix of colours, the silver bull looks great. The only downside is the big green Cash App logos. And speaking of green, last up we have the Kick Sauber F1 team, which to be honest with you, it's actually kind of growing on me because every time I look at it, it just reminds me of that brilliant yellow and black Renault that we used to have, which I really wish that Alpine would go back to. But it is nice to have a different colour on the grid, we don't really have any green cars and haven't for a very long time, so it stands out a lot. It is quite offensive to the eyes if you look at it for too long because it's very vibrant, but at least it's something different and like I said, it stands out a lot. Although I'm not really sure about the roulette wheels. So now that we've had a look at them at a standstill, I'll show you a little bit of footage of them racing around Miami, which if you were watching Miami this weekend, you probably really enjoyed it because it was a very good race although that is coming from me, a McLaren fan. And of course, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you fancy and you want to see more videos similar to this one and a lot more F124 content coming up soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy!